Thank you for joining me. My name is Alex Marola. I'm the chair for the North London branch of the For Britain movement. We are outside this Holiday Inn in Wembley today after receiving reports from a local member that they were harbouring illegal migrants posing as asylum seekers. These are the very same migrants who have been allowed in by the current government from ports such as Dover that we have discussed in our latest For Britain Movement national campaign to end the border farce. These so-called asylum seekers pose a massive security threat to our country. ISIS has bragged several times that they have hidden their recruits in with migrants coming in all across from Europe. They are pretending to be refugees and they have no documentation. Let's not forget, only a few months ago, an asylum seeker who was housed in a hotel very similar to this in Glasgow went on a stabbing spree, viciously attacking and injuring many people, including hotel staff, members of the public and the police officer. Other migrants in the hotel suggested this rampage was a result of food that was culturally non-appropriate and that Wi-Fi was too slow. And only last week in France, a Muslim asylum seeker beheaded a French teacher for showing an image of the Prophet Muhammad in his class about freedom of speech. Their culture is not compatible with ours, and in the words of the Dalai Lama, they should return home. How safe are the people of Wembley and North London with these undocumented, unidentifiable illegal immigrants living here? When we arrived at this hotel a few weeks ago, our suspicions that there were illegal immigrants being housed here were proved to be correct. When me and the Secretary of North London arrived at this hotel, we were greeted by two private security guards who told us that there was no bar in this hotel despite the fact that every Holiday Inn has a bar. They lied to us and when we asked if the hotel was open they said it was completely closed. When we looked in the hotel all the staff were at their desks, they were all working, there were people coming in and out and why would you employ two private security guards for a closed hotel? It doesn't make any sense. These are the same signs that have been shown in other hotels that are hiding illegal immigrants. As we were leaving, at least eight migrants came out of the hotel and as soon as I took my phone out they all moved to the lower section of the hotel where they couldn't be seen. And a nervous staff member came outside and started looking around. Thank you for joining us. Please like and share this video to make people aware of what our governments are doing. While they are putting local people at risk for the sake of housing illegal immigrants, we have tens of thousands of homeless men and women in this country, many of them who have served in our armed forces and our veterans. They have served our country bravely and heroically and deserve to be put first. A government's priority should be to its citizens first and foremost every time. If you are not already a member of the For Britain movement, please join us at forbritain.uk forward slash join and volunteer with your local branch. For Britain is the only patriotic political party with elected councillors in this country. The only way we can stop this madness is by getting real local and parliamentary power that we can change things for the better. Replace the politicians before they replace you. Thank you. Hi James. Hi yeah. So you just found you all day now. I'm just filming a video. Sorry? We're filming a video. You're yeah. filming a video? We're doing yeah. a report. Uh, for Mouse 44 or anything like that? No, it's just for our YouTube channel. For your YouTube, and you are, sorry? Uh, we're from the For Britain. Okay, right. and yeah. you're, so you're yes. the same organisation, yeah. you're from For Britain. Okay, that's fine, no problem. Yeah. Just saying, I just want to find out what you're going yeah, for, what was actually going on, and now that, that's the reason why. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you very much indeed.